when traveling it's always a good idea to learn the bathroom habits of the country you are about to visit. It should never be taken for granted that things are the way they're here, all over the world. That could be a drastic mistake, especially if you were to visit somewhere like Poland. A lot of countries don't offer toilet paper in public restroom facilities so it's a good thing to bring your own. You should also know where you might encounter someone that comes in and starts cleaning while you are still in the bathroom. That would eliminate a very awkward encounter, maybe. Weird things you didn't know about bathrooms in foreign countries. Number 1. In Cuba, toilet paper is not supplied. Cuba doesn't have the type of money needed to put toilet paper in all public areas. It's best that you carry your own with you to be safe. Number 2. Outdoor toilets in France used to be considered art. In the 1860s and 70s, there were more than 1,200 outdoor bathrooms around Paris. They were done up nicely and considered works of art. Now there is only one still standing. Number 3. Make sure to face the right way in Japan. In Japan, if you face the wrong way you may leave quite a mess. It's good to do a little research before heading out on the town there. This way you'll make sure to get things right. Number 4. Don't flush toilet paper while in Mexico. Mexico doesn't offer the same type of plumbing that we find here in the United States. If you flush toilet paper it could clog or even break the pipes. Number 5. You have to pay to pee in Sweden. Sweden uses money collected at their public bathrooms, to upkeep them. It's a good idea in theory but if you happen to be out and about and have to go but are broke, well, you'll have quite a problem. Number 6. Squat with strangers in the restrooms in China. China uses pretty primitive bathroom settings. First of all they are unisex so you'll notice that's different right away. Most places offer nothing more than a hole in the floor to squat over. Number 7. Russian bathrooms can be poorly constructed. Russia hasn't really mastered the perfect bathroom yet. You will find toilets that sit side by side and even ones with backwards lids. Those people are lucky because at a lot of places there is nothing more than a hole in the ground. Number 8. In Scotland, it's normal to let strangers use your facilities. In Scotland, if you get a knock on the door from a stranger needing to use your facilities, it's normal to let them in to go. Yeah, try that here. Number 9. Don't pee in the bidet while you're in Spain. When you are in Spain you'll want to know which one you can pee in and which one you can't. One is meant for cleaning so you'll want to do your homework before taking on the public facilities. Number 10. Your waste is sent to the ocean in Antarctica. Antarctica doesn't come complete with awesome sewage systems. This is for obvious reasons. So most of the waste there is pumped right out into the southern ocean. It's not millions and millions of people doing it though so it's not as bad as it may sound. Number 11. Irish people don't like using public toilets. A study showed that the Irish will do anything to avoid having to use public facilities. 62% of those talked with said they flat out refuse while 76% of those that do, won't touch the seat or anything in proximity. Who can blame them? Number 12. Don't be surprised when a woman comes in and starts to clean in South Korea. In South Korea, they actually have older ladies that clean up public bathrooms. That's not so surprising but the fact that they will start while you are still in there is a bit surprising. These ladies are called Ajunas and they take their job very seriously.